Atlanta's Pride celebration will be kicking off next Friday, and that's when 11 Alive will start airing its Voices for Equality Pride special. But we wanted to give you a sneak peek at some of those stories. Tonight, 11 Alive senior producer Kira Frisbee shows us two out and proud women refusing to be footnotes in history. It's okay to be who you are. I moved to Atlanta originally in 1968, a big year for the country and for everything. Fair housing for all, all human beings who live in this country is now a part of the American way of life. Queer people have always been very active in social justice movements. I have been an activist in the city of Atlanta for more than 30 years. I'm Simone Bell, and I am the first black out elected official for State House in the country. My name is Lorraine Fontana, and I'm one of the original co founders of the Atlanta Lesbian Feminist Alliance, or Alpha. When I was about 13 years old, I knew I was different. I didn't know what that difference was. And I remember seeing a movie where there was a lesbian character. And the moment I saw it, I was like, I think that's what I am. I came out when I was here, and it was a life-saving to me. I served six years in the legislature. Often, we would be outside marching and chanting and having press conferences. The Atlanta Lesbian Feminist Alliance was the first out lesbian organization in Atlanta, opening the doors for people in Atlanta to start realizing not only who exists, making it a more common thing. When you have someone that's in the room who is a part of that community, it's a different type of conversation. I'm very lucky. There's a lot of people I know who kept in the closet because they were in situations and places where it was horrible. I know that my wife would go to Alpha as a young black queer woman looking for community. We wanted to make sure not only that lesbians had a place in a community, but also where you could actually gain power by speaking with other people in your situation. Well, I'm a firm believer that everything in the world affects us, and so we should be at the forefront of any and all fights and struggle. All the struggles are connected. You can't have some people not free. We are proud of who we are, whether it's race, nationality, class, gender, sexual orientation, all the same thing. You are loved, you are needed, and you are important in this world. I call her Lolo. She's my sweet Lolo. I met Lorraine at a book club, and we talked about all types of revolution and making the world a better place. A lot of stuff has happened in my history. I never knew that this baby would grow up to have all the opportunities that she's had. What I would say to young and new members of the LGBTQI plus community is just like any other activist community, please don't give up. We have a right to live freely. We have a right to congregate. We have a right to love who we love. It's great to see those two women sharing their stories, especially considering the success that they've had, uh, including one of them who has gone on to do great things in politics. Yeah, a lot of work in the community. And if you enjoyed and loved that story, you'd like to see more, be sure to check out our Voices for Equality special, which will begin airing next Friday on 11 Alive and WATL. All right.